One in four women and one in seven men will be impacted by domestic violence in their lifetime. Now, Shock Trauma has a new program to help victims recover. Denise joins us with how you can help the Bridge program. Denise? Well, Vic, as October Domestic Violence Awareness Month comes to a close, a local dance company is doing its part to raise money and awareness for programs that help when a loved one becomes an abuse. Rehearsing part of a dance called Unashamed. When the Full Circle Dance Company presents it this weekend, it will include 14 dancers, part of a performance benefiting Shock Trauma's Bridge program. To prepare, the dancers met with the women Bridge was helping recover from domestic violence. These women that we talk to directly are extremely brave, extremely inspiring, and so we really take it to heart and we want to do tell their story the right way. Ladies, this really is looking great. Donna Jacobs choreographed the dance. She is also senior vice president at the University of Maryland Medical System, so she's seen the patients, the women wounded by domestic violence. We often find that by using dance, we can get people to think about common problems in a different way. And particularly for domestic violence, where secrecy and shame can be prevalent, the dance is inspiring, it is moving. Tara Carlson works for Shock Trauma's Violence Prevention Program and runs Bridge, where last year they treated about 30 women a month. You just swoop in and take care of them. Absolutely. Unashamed, something beautiful to raise awareness about a very ugly problem. If people walk away and say, this is a problem that needs to come out of the closet and I need to be responsible and accountable to some who I know may be suffering, that would be quite an accomplishment. Now, Shock Trauma's Bridge program is funded only by grants and donations, so they really hope to sell a lot of tickets at the Full Circle Dance Company's performance this coming weekend. Vic? Denise, thank you. Unashamed will be performed on Saturday and Sunday at Brooklyn's Chesapeake Arts Center. For more information, you'll find a link on our website, WJZ.com.